We welcome Ross Beaton, CEO and founder of the Apple Press, which is based in Hawke's Bay and makes delicious apple juice, more like a winemaker would, in fact. And we get all the tough jobs, Mel, because I think we are going to be able to sample some of this delicious stuff, and we're going to give you the chance to win some as well. Ross, thank you so much. I feel like I'm on an orchard of beautiful apples in a bottle. Hey, Mike, Mel, thank you very much for the opportunity to come here this morning and try the world's best apple juice. Yes, yeah, so what got you into making apple juice? Is it a family affair? Well, I grew apples uh, for 30 odd years. We exported them around the globe, but we had this uh, mountain of what we call ugly fruit, fruit that had sunburn marks that was just going and getting processed into homogenised blends of poor apple juice concentrate. Right, because that's the stuff that people don't want to buy because it doesn't look like a perfect apple, does it? Correct. And so what we wanted to do is do something a bit more meaningful. And so here we've got a portfolio of individual varietals of juice, and we believe it's the world's best apple juice made with the world's best apples. Can I sort of say, how does it work then? Because we've had apple juice all our lives, but what, what's the difference with apple juice we might commonly use and yours? Well, Mike, you're a bit young to really remember real apple juice, but it hasn't been around for about 40 years. Wow. So what we've done is we've redefined it a bit like olive oil or wine, whereas in the 80s it was Chateau Cardboard Red or White, yeah. <laughs> and now it's uh, single vineyards, it's come from um, regions, you know, Sauvignon from Melbourne and, you know, some of the brands we know today. Yeah. So we thought New Zealand is the most innovative apple uh, region in the world, we're the most mm -hmm. innovative as far as varieties go, they've gone global, and why don't we make uh, a fabulous single uh, single variety apple juice out of the world's best apples? I want to talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but tell us a little bit about your orchard and your factory, because it's in Hawke's Bay, isn't it? Absolutely. So the uh, orchards, uh, we used to have them all over Hawke's Bay, and we can trace the varieties, uh, the apples that are in the bottle from the individual orchards. Wow. That's cool. And so Sally, who's a, a co-founder with me, we were trying to find this technology that we could uh, contract out. We couldn't find it. Uh, Sally was standing in the paddock one day and said, look, why don't we build a factory? I said, why not? So we did. <laughs> and it's been about a six-year journey, but we've got uh, one of the most advanced uh, pieces of technology in the world in Hawke's Bay. And when you say the Apple Press, is there a processing thing that you do differently? Well, so the whole process is a whole lot of little individual things. From The, the fruit is grown as you would with fresh fruit. Right. It is, goes through the normal process. It goes through the cool storage it goes and is treated, you know, like a five-star citizen. That's nice. what we used to do. Oh, good. And so when it comes out, um, we, we crush it, we cold press it, yep. we, we flash pasteurise it, and then we cold fill. Nice. And so that enables the, us to use only half the weight of plastic, as a normal process Brilliant. does, but it retains all of the flavour and the notes of... Basically, the aspiration was to give people the experience of drinking a freshly picked apple of that's, that variety. And that's what it tastes like too. So I noticed on the side of the bottle here, you've got this thing called the Sweetometer, and on this one here, you can see that, that it's sort of bordering up towards the sweet. What's all this about? So like wine, you have different uh, uh, flavour profiles. People think apple juice tastes all the same, but basically they're all individual unique flavours. So for certain demographics and age groups and so forth, they prefer the sweeter one. Yep. As we get a bit older, they prefer, you know, more tart. Okay. So we wanted people, and that's where, you know, I'd welcome the opportunity to let you try some. Oh, good. I was waiting for you to say that, Ross. Uh, Thank you. So we're going to start with the Royal Gala. Which yep. one? Hang on, I want to make sure I'm... And this is the sweetest out of the three. The three we've got here. Okay. We didn't eat cups, do we? No, save, no. On, save on the dishes. Oh, you can literally taste the Hawke's Bay sunshine and the apples in that, Yum. can't you? That's all oh, that's there. It does taste like... Mm, yeah, that's good. Oh, so yeah, that's the really Royal good. Gala, just, just for a bit of, you know, information... Apple history. Use apple history. It, it's a New Zealand apple. It's one of the most widely grown apples globally. Okay. Um, it's the mother of the jazz, and the Braeburn is the father of the oh, jazz. Oh, okay, so the jazz family. is what? The Goldilocks, the one that's just right? Mike, couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. This is, I love this job. This is like wine tasting, but with apple juice. You know I what's love really it. interesting is that it's actually quite different to the first one. You're right, it isn't all the same, is it? No, so we're here redefining it. Mm. We're the hero of the apple again. So the third one we've got is Braeburn, which is a New Zealand iconic apple. It's yeah. the tartest um, one, isn't it's it? It's the tartest one. And I guess, too, when you've got top quality apple juice like this, you can not only just drink it straight from the bottle if you like apple juice, but you could use it as a grape mixer for some various refreshments, couldn't you, Ross? Cocktail book's on its way, Mike. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can love you it. imagine that? That'd be great. I think I like the, the jazz would be my favourite. Oh, really? I'm Royal yeah. Gala. Are you? Yeah. Mm. Well, there you go. 
Okay. Look, put it this way. That's why we give you a choice, and we'd, we don't mind what you buy as long as you buy an ample press every but day. The good thing about it, too, is you've got a whole lot of other flavours as well. In fact, you've got the Fijo, oh. which you've given me. I've already drunk one of these this morning. You gave me one before we came on air, so it's absolutely delicious. But looking up there, you've got beetroot, you've got lime, ginger, and manuka honey, blueberry. So many cool flavours. They are, and they're all full of fruit. Right. So they're using the apple, and then we're using uh, crushed blueberry or crushed Fijo. And, you know, this is the world's best Fijo yeah. juice as well. That would be a very nice cocktail too, the Fijo one. And it is, I am a, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of Fijo juice and it is the best one I have tried. Yeah, chuck a bit of vodka. So us. where can we, yeah, I was trying to be subtle about that. Oh, right, this night, whatever in the morning. <laughs> so where can we get a hold of the Apple Press range? So the range, the, the largest range we have is in the New Worlds and Pack and Saves. Certain uh, sizes are in Countdown. But, you know, your local New World is... Uh, they're extending the range all the time as we bring them on. Yep, so yep. go and ask for it because it is absolutely amazing well, stuff. And just the whole sustainability factor as well and taking fruit that quite often might get discarded and turning it into something beautiful is all part of your business philosophy, I guess. Correct. And this, this PET is virgin at the moment, mm -hmm. but our aspiration is to move to 50% mm -hmm. recycled PET uh, in the next 12 months and going to 100%. But at this stage, we can't access that product because some other people have all of that, that right. available. But that's our aspiration in the next few That'll years. Be coming. Yeah. So it'll be coming and we use half the plastic. Be so yeah. Before we go, that's great. Before we go there, can I try that apple cider vinegar one? You most certainly because can. Because usually apple cider, that's really healthy for you, but usually Oy. apple cider vinegar. There you go. We can put a little, oh, little okay. cup for you, Mel. Yeah, I'm not going to drink out of the big bottle. That'd be rude, wouldn't it? Because oh, then no, no one else can have it. You can These are all mine for now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike, you, you have a honey. Okay, I'll have a honey one. Oh, that is, that's actually really good. Okay, you you look surprised, Mel. Well, I am surprised because apple cider vinegar, in my experience in the past. S Sally, my co founder, we had a, uh, some non negotiables. We said we just don't want to make juice, we want to sure. make outstanding. Uh, juice and it has to mm. taste great, you know. Oh my god, the honey goodness. one's amazing that is as well. So good. Hey, Ross, thank you so much. Yeah, Ross, thank you. We're going to um, try to get these You're welcome. Thank later you very much for I'll the opportunity. Now, you can look out for the Apple Press and all good supermarket chillers nationwide. To discover more deliciousness about the Apple Press, mm. go to the website, theapplepress.co.nz. And if you'd like to begin to win a year's supply of the Apple Press juices, and yes, you do, go to our Facebook page.